doing something a little different here hope you guys can give me some feedback on this see if the notes are a little uh, more usable for what you're needing throughout my day I'm watching everybody who works the, in the salary role and how they relate to their jobs and always just thinking and I tend I happen to be a salary person used to be an hourly role I notice the company is very willing to send me to training leadership training um, works different ways that will help me do my job better things like that but it seems like they very rarely send anybody in the hourly ranks training they're always willing to take us out to lunch go to the leadership conferences things like that but you guys are stuck you guys when I'm saying you guys the hourly folks are stuck working the floor not doing thing and then that led me to think there's this great divide about how uh, the workers and management always butting heads together and you know w people in leadership are as asking well, why do is this gap there why do they think we're so bad to them well this is one simple point if you're in the leadership role and you're out um, living the high life and the folks that are doing the work and actually paying the bills aren't able to partake in the stuff that you guys are doing then there's gonna be a gap and they're gonna be frustrated with you another thing I was uh, want you guys to give me some feedback on I'm considering rebranding myself actually from maybe the bootstrap coach or just adding this as a separate brand um, assembly line escape or escape from the assembly line maybe something along those lines please give me your thoughts on that because uh, I think considering my history where I did escape from the assembly line and I've felt good about moving up my career I want to share that with you folks and that seems where my heart's really laid let's get started well I had a friend of mine who I see on a regular basis tell me one day I want to be the boss and I want to make the big bucks so I really wanted to uh, approach that topic this evening everybody wants to be the boss and they want to make the big bucks why do you want to be the boss? How do you guys like the little pictures? Oh, also, I've uh, put my uh, web address, my URL, down at the bottom so you guys can find how to reach me. But why do you want to be the boss? Um, it needs to be because you want to do a good job. You want to be able to drive more change and improvement and help your fellow employees uh, improve their work and do their job. It should not be for the money, and it should not be because you're not going to have to work nearly as hard. Um, even though it's not as physically taxing, it can be very uh, mentally taxing, especially in some of the situations they put people through. But uh, if you go chase some money, you're never going to be happy. you got to have a passion for wanting to be the boss, wanting to lead people, wanting to treat people correctly. You have to be more and do more to get more. Um, you're never going to... It, you can't look at it as, hey, when I get to be the boss, I'm going to start doing things better. You have to look at it, what can I do better now that will put me and prepare me to be a supervisor or boss later. Um, y you can't just say, hey, when I get a raise, I'm going to work harder. It will never happen like that. You have to want it. You have to be willing to learn more, have to be more effective. Um, and you may not be able to manage people, but you can work through people. If you, if anybody knows the work that I do at, work, uh, at my job, you will notice that I don't manage anyone, but I am able to get people to help me and move projects forward through um, just educating people and talking with them, saying, "Hey, do you think it's a good idea? Will you help me do it?" But spend time learning. You have to learn how to be more effective at doing your job. You have to kind of think beyond what am I doing on the assembly line to how can I help more people do a better job in what they're doing. Leadership versus management. There's a big difference. You have to have both. You can't have one without the other. But, uh, well actually, you can be a leader and not be a manager, but if you want to be a boss you have to be both. Um, you can be the leader without being the boss. If you are working on that assembly line and you start taking charge, and I'm not saying, you know, controlling situations, I'm saying, you know, taking the lead on improving the areas, helping rallying people around 
uh, good causes, things like that. You are being a leader. A leader does not mean that you have a higher pay than somebody else or they have to report to you. But in leadership roles, you're more of a guide. Kind of like a, a parent would be, not exactly, but uh, you're always thinking of ways that you can improve yourself, you can improve your team, you can help your team do their jobs better. A manager that really relates to more to logistics stuff. Who reports to somebody else? Um, are they filling out your time card? Are you managing people? Having to deal with the discipline issues? A lot of the, the nitty gritty details logistics of this whole being a boss. But if you want to be a good boss, you need to be both a leader and a manager. Speaking of leadership, you need to study leadership. It is very hard to be a leader. I study leadership on a regular basis, and everything that I do, I have to really think and make sure I'm making the right choices and right decisions because I understand that my choices affect the people who work for me and work with me. I don't want to put them in a bad situation because of a bad decision that I've made. So it's something that I strive as hard as I can, and it's a lot of work, I have to admit. Um, you don't see me physically sweating, but I have to make sure that I'm doing a good job because I don't want to put anybody in dire straits because of a decision I made. And I want to help people get further, and that's my goal as a leader. Um, there's books out there, there's classes, there's tons of free information out on the web. Uh, I would advise just going out there and studying leadership. Just read some free stuff, Google it. And then you'll start finding some names to come to the talk, top. And if you're still interested in it, I would say get a book or get a, a audio book. Those are pretty good too. This, these are a couple of questions that I always ask anybody who's working for me. How can I help you do your job? Now this is me trying to be a leader. Um, I know that my responsibility as a leader is to help everybody do their job remove those roadblocks so they can do their job better so I need to always understand how I can make anybody who's working with me or for me how they can do their job better I would recommend that you consider these kinds of questions how can I do better as your boss now this is one that's kinda hard to take especially if you get some negative feedback but you've got to be willing to take negative feedback and, and think about it don't try to argue but you need to ask this so you can be more effective with the people you work with and you need to grow it goes back to the learning that we just discussed but you need to understand how people view you so you can interact with them better and help them do their job you do not see everything the way it is they see things from a different point of view and you need to take that into perspective trust as the boss, your people need to trust you. You can be a tyrant. You can say, you're going to do this because I said this. Sometimes you will have to come down to that. But you need to have your people trust you. Trust that you're going to do a good job. Trust that you're going to take care of them. And I'm not saying be nice. They, we all have responsibilities. But trust that um, they can grow and do a good job. And trust that you're going to help them do a good job. If that trust isn't there, they're going to be very unwilling to listen to you long term. They're going to do exactly what you told you tell them, nothing more. Um, if they don't trust you, they are not willing to do uh, more for you. You're not willing to strive, not willing to help you get your job done. Personal accountability. This one is very hard it's because you're going to be accountable for everything that happens if something happens f that with the people under you your boss is going to hold you accountable and you are accountable and you need to look at it that way because if you say I'm accountable then that means that you're saying hey I take responsibility for this I can control the situation as long as you think that way you're always going to be asking yourself how can I avoid or do better in this situation in the future and you, you're accountable to uh, your people. You know they're going to have certain expectations of you, and you need to work on meeting those expectations. Understand their expectations. Goes back to the question that I asked before: How can I do better as your boss? So you need to understand what their expectations are. 
sorry my voice is getting a little raspy kinda take a side note you guys notice that I call myself the bootstrap coach it's because bootstrapping and I don't know if you guys understand the term but it means pulling yourself up by your own bootstrap straps taking care of yourself um, taking accountability of your actions and saying hey I can change my life if I choose to change my life I may have to work at it I like the boots because boots mean hard work but uh, that's why I chose that title because I expect when I'm teaching everybody that we're all going to be doing some hard work but it's going to uh, give us some reward down the road personal accountability is for everybody um, who wants to be a boss everybody in general if you want to proceed in life yeah, independent of being boss whatever you want to do you need to have personal accountability if you want to move forward in your career and in your life responsibility you are responsible for your people when you're a manager it's almost like I said before like being a parent if you're responsible for your people then you are responsible for teaching them for growing them for helping them to reach their career aspirations even if it is them wanting to move ahead of you this is not a race where one person wins and everybody loses that's a very very limited mindset everybody has their space they can fill that they do a good job as and if you have somebody under you that's striving to do better I recommend that you help them get to where they want to go and then more people are going to have that trust and um, enjoy working with you but you have to be responsible for your people anything good that you want to help them do you need to be responsible to help with and you're responsible to grow your people and you're responsible for anything that negative happens within your area um, like I said before with the accountability accountability and responsibility kinda go hand in hand something bad happens say a couple employees uh, make a mistake and aren't wearing their safety gear then you're gonna be responsible for that it's hard to take but that's just part of the role and everybody in that type of role does take that responsibility as a manager you need to start looking at things a little bit differently you need to spread the pra praise and accept the blame so anything that good goes in your area make sure the folks that work with you know that they're much appreciated that they did a good job if upper management comes down and says hey supervisor hey boss you're, you're doing a good job with your people I would recommend you take that manager down to your people and have that manager tell your people because you need to let your people know that you appreciate they're doing a good job you need to spread that praise but you need to accept the blame if there's any issues that come up you need to accept the blame expect accept the responsibility for that so that your people will feel um, happy work for you. you don't want to constantly point fingers and say hey it wasn't my fault it was John down there who didn't wear a safety gear you have to say it was my fault that I did not put the correct things in place for these folks to do that now as hard as you try bad things will come up but you're always gonna ask yourself how can I avoid this happening in the future now to be the boss you have to start thinking like the boss even though you're not immediately boss what would the boss do in certain situations just really run that through your head especially if you're in an assembly line role I know that when I was on there my mind would wander spend some time to think what would I do different if I was the boss and ask these questions what changes would I make what changes would you make if you were the boss and what would you do different as a leader just really think those things through to kinda of put yourself in that place and that's the end of the presentation so please um, consider everything that I've said here. Um, if you want to be a boss, figure out why you want to be a boss and make sure that's a good reason. I saw, sorry for clapping into the microphone. And then understand that being a boss is different than working on the line, than working on the floor, but it is very rewarding. I, I'm enjoying doing it. This is my first stint as actually being a boss. I've been in a leadership role for quite a while, but being a boss. It works very well for me, and I enjoy it very much. And I hope that uh, you guys will look forward to it, and I can help 